This video brought to you by AppAcademy.com, a web development bootcamp located in San Francisco and New York City. Learn full stack web development with Ruby on Rails, JavaScript, React, Redux, SQL, and much more. Link in the description below. Having confidence can affect more than just your career as a developer, it can affect your entire life. And as developers, we can sometimes get what's called imposter syndrome. I've dealt with it myself, and we're going to talk about that. In this blog post, it talks all about how to build up your confidence. We'll read over it, I'm going to give you my two cents. So let's go ahead and not waste any more time and get right into it. So here we have Confidence, How to Build the Most Impactful Life Skill by Mark Furstein. You know, I have to tell you, this is kind of a hard one for me to read on a personal level because, you know, being in your first year as a developer, it can be kind of uh, anxious. It can make that stress come by and, geez, am I really cut out for this? But going into my second year, hey, I can do this. and. You know, this talks all about getting that confidence and the differences between uh, confidence and arrogance. Uh, <laughs> I know myself, I've been arrogant, like, oh yeah, I can do that. No problem. Let me just go ahead and get into Pluralsight and I'll go ahead and read all about this. Uh, but uh, you know what? <sighs> you don't really know. And the sooner you know that you don't know, the better you'll be because uh, you can actually gauge what's going on. But you can be confident in your ability to learn something. Uh, when you are able to be confident, you can go ahead and do a lot of things such as maybe get that raise, uh, be ambitious enough to try for that new position or get those new skills to get that position and learn how to sell yourself. Uh, that's something that I've learned with this YouTube channel is how to present and how to uh, sell myself as a developer. It is a great skill to have, but that isn't to say I haven't had my ups and downs with confidence. Uh, it talks about uh, saying things like slowing down, not using something like um or uh, like I just did for fillers, but really uh, anchoring down to what you have and sticking to your guns. Um, I think I've heard the term strong convictions loosely held before. So you're going to have these strong convictions and you're going to, you're going to go ahead and man up and say, this is what I'm going to say. But if the time comes, you can go ahead and change those, but you're going to, you know, say, Hey, this is what I stand by. And that can be hard, you know, uh, talking from personal experience, sometimes just doing videos like this, like, who am I? Why should I be doing this? Uh, but, when I have learned how to go ahead and get this confidence up, I have been able to sell my ideas or just go ahead and, you know, go through with a project. I, I say, hey, I'm going to do this project and I'm doing it. Uh, so that's really, really important. Um, in this article, it talks all about uh, authority and authenticity, being yourself. Uh, that's what I try to do through this YouTube channel. It can be hard because sometimes we're not always on point, but with this confidence, uh, it, it does help you do that more often uh, by being able to believe in yourself. Here, I'm not going to play it, but there is a great clip with uh, Don Draper from uh, Mad Men uh, that talks about confidence and shows how basically Don Draper, who is the main character here, is in a meeting with a potential client for an ad, and the client is definitely not interested. So he pretty much gets up and says, I think we're done here. And the client is kind of confused and says, well, why? And he says to him, you're a non-believer and tells him what they do and that, hey, he's willing to walk away from the deal. He is confident in what he has to offer. And if they're not into that, well, it's best to part ways. That is extreme confidence. Now, I'm not saying, you know, go up to your boss and say, hey, I deserve a raise or I'm willing to leave it all. No, I'm not saying that, but you know, these are things that we might want to look into as uh, developers or as people who are looking to become developers. Man, can I really get this job? Yes, yes you can with the hard work and truly having that wisdom, you can definitely go ahead and do that. And you know, that's how, that's how I got my job was being confident in my skills and saying, this is what I can do. Here are my portfolio pieces. When can I start? Uh, I really got after, uh, this position and, and really followed up on it. Uh, but it goes so much farther than that with personal life. And I, I've had this myself uh, in developer like meetups, even when doing presentations or talking to anyone. 
Uh, granted, it's mostly to you guys, but uh, you can really have a different type of conversation when when you're uh, exuding confidence. It's not just like, oh yeah, I kind of do this. You can tell people about about what you believe and do it passionately and uh, really inspire a lot of people as well. So becoming more confident is is hard. It's hard for me uh, personally, um, but doing things such as talking in front of people, uh, forcing yourself to actually do something that you've always wanted to do is very important. And it talks all about it in this article, like stop comparing yourself to others. That can be hard. But um, what I've done in the past is say, hey, Am I more knowledgeable or more skilled than I was a month ago? Surrounding yourself with impressive people. This is one of the most critical steps. Uh, I can even tell you that in my job, we got a much more ambitious graphic designer. And that alone helped me a lot because I I work with her a lot during the day. Um, Meditating and remembering why you're doing something. You know, this is almost like therapy for me uh, because I have to remember these things. You know, practice your mindfulness. Are you doing something that uh, is really part of, of you? Uh, is Are you really doing something uh, that is not, as they say, judgmental here? Living in the present will help you worry less. You know, we, we have to think about the future, right? But um, hanging on to that past can be very painful. Like, oh, I'm too old. I wish I wouldn't have wasted my 20s. You know what? It's, it's about right now. And it's about doing what you, what needs to be done now. Uh, setting goals. Setting goals is huge. Now, I've got to admit, I have not set my goals in a while. But when I wanted this job, I set my goals. And I said, I will have a job doing coding within a year. And that did come true. It wasn't a developer job, but I got to do some code at a marketing agency and then move up to this developer job I had. But I set those goals. I even said how long I was going to study. And hey, I hit them. You got to do that for yourself. And you got to make time for those goals. Otherwise, they're not going to come true. But just writing them out, I found, has done me a great deal of good. Uh, Keeping a journal, I can see how that would be helpful. For me, YouTube is my journal. Talking to you guys is my journal. But you don't have to go that far. I mean, you could just get a piece of paper or, excuse me, a notebook uh, and write in that journal. Um, Embracing failure. This is huge. Embracing failure is all about moving forward. I've heard and uh, repeated, just suck less. And it might have negative connotation, but hey... You're not striving for good. And then before you know it, you will be good. Uh, Failure is just part of getting better, you know? And it's embarrassing sometimes, uh, looking back at my old projects, looking back at projects that are only like three months old. Uh, Man, I can't believe I did that. Or, man, I can't believe I tried to do this project and I failed. But being able to embrace that, the, the sooner you embrace that, the sooner you can get over your failure, the sooner you can learn from it. Now, having strong body language. You see these hands? I don't just do this just because. It's part of body language. Now, the camera's really close, so it's hard to tell. Uh, It's such a huge uh, game changer, really. Having them at your sides, you know, that's what we learned in speech class in college. If you can't do anything, just have them at your sides. But when you're able to use your hands, it can really put emphasis on what you're talking about. See what I mean? Um, Stop expecting perfection. Oof. Oof, another one that's speaking to my heart. For me, it's hard uh, not being perfect. And it's just something you got to live with. I stopped going over a million tutorials. And now that I have a basic foundation, just get the project off the ground. That's what matters the most. Um, It's hard. I I, I get it. Uh, But you got to do it. You got to rip it off like a Band-Aid. You got to just push forward. And you're going to see progress much faster. Take it from me. Don't do that. Uh, create a list of affirmations. What you're good at? I wish I would would have thought of this. I need to do this. You know, um, just talking about what what you are good at, why you are a good person. I mean, that might seem a little bit out there, but man, sometimes I, you know, I think I don't know, I don't know C sharp, I don't know, you know, like uh, ASP Core four. I only know my JavaScript, HTML, CSS. If I only knew more, uh, I know Node, but I should know PHP. I know Photoshop, but I should know more about Illustrator. You know, I I need to take a step back. You need to take a step back. And remember, whatever you're learning, hey, I know HTML now. 
I know CSS, uh, you know, and I'm working on SAS, or I'm working on CSS animations, or I'm working on my JavaScript and going from jQuery to JavaScript. You, you need to let yourself know that you're doing the right thing and you are moving forward. Uh, for example, with this YouTube channel, sometimes I see some of my other YouTube buddies here moving up with subscribers really fast, but I've put in a lot of videos and I've done great. And that's something that I need to, to recognize. Just as an example, uh, be awesome. Of course, be awesome. You really should be, uh, who you want to be. Um, but, uh, it's, it's, uh, something that takes focus, especially here in America. We want to be individual, but we never really get to the core of that really get to be us. And, um, by being yourself, you can really open yourself to new experiences. Maybe it's a new language. Maybe it's a new career. Maybe it's a new project. Uh, but just be awesome. So, you know, there is a lot of risk, and it talks about a ton of this in this blog post. If you want to know more, go to the cohort here. And if you're looking to become a developer, uh, App Academy is a boot camp that you can check out there in San Francisco and New York. Um, you can pay the bulk of like your tuition after you actually get a job. That is a huge selling point for them. But learn more about them on the website there. Check it out. Thanks for sticking with me. This was a really hard topic for me to get through, um, seeing how I need to work on my confidence as well. So I appreciate you uh, spending your time with me and helping me work through this. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comments section below, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>